Georgia is a country of great livestock importance. According to FAO data from 2012, the livestock sector represents around 50% of the agriculture GDP. FAO has worked in the country, has been working in the country for more than a decade, and at the present, one of the ongoing projects is based on the development of a strategy for controlling brucellosis in the country. Uh, brucellosis is an animal disease of high importance, and this video um, would like to show the main facts of the disease, as well as the main recommendations and actions needed to be taken in order to ensure the success of such a strategy. Brucellosis is an infectious disease that is shared by humans and animals. And like in any other zoonosis, both humans and animals are very closely linked by the same change of infection. The responsible of the sickness is a microorganism called brucella. Brucellosis causes abortion in cattle, sheep and goats and pigs. And even more important, brucellosis can also cause serious infection in people, more serious in children and in elderly people. Brucellosis is a difficult disease. It's a hard disease. It's a disease, first, difficult to detect. Also, brucellosis is a disease very, very difficult to treat in humans. Brucellosis is a difficult disease to prevent. And last but not least, brucellosis is a difficult disease to combat, to fight against it. Recognizing brucellosis in livestock is quite difficult because no clear symptoms are shown. Sometimes a store of abortion can occur, but that's not the rule. Usually only younger females abort or have stillbirths, but just once in their life. Next parturition seems normal, but animals can excrete huge amount of brucella to the environment through vaginal secretion and milk. Practically speaking, we can say that brucellosis can only be recognized by laboratory testing. Humans can get infected in two main ways. First, brucellosis is an occupational disease, so people in close contact with animals like farmers, vets, slaughterers are in high risk. Secondly, brucellosis is a foodborne disease. If you drink raw milk or if you eat fresh cheese, you can get infected with malto fever. Brucellosis is a disease difficult to treat in humans because in animals it's forbidden by the sanitary rules. But in humans, the treatment is long and expensive. But in general, we can say that brucellosis is a disease that causes a great degree of disability. Brucellosis is a highly infected disease and can spread rapidly when an abortion or a stillbirth take place. Fetus, stillbirth, vaginal discharges are heavily infected with brucella bacteria. The colostrum and milk are also heavily contaminated. Animals get infected by breathing if near of an infected animal or by suckling or licking. Transmission female, male, female during the mating season is also important. And finally, also the farmer can collaborate in the process by unsafe milking practices. You can protect yourself and your family just following some simple rules. First, when handling animals, be very careful, mainly if you're helping at lambing or calving. Remove hygienically by burial or incineration any fetus or fetal wrappings. Never let the dogs eat them. To protect your flock or your head from brucellosis, first purchase all your animals from reliable sources. And in case you buy pregnant animals, first isolate them, second take a blood sample and take them into the laboratory for testing before you incorporate all these animals into your flock, into your herds. Second, avoid to mix your animals with animals of other flocks of suspecting of being infected. Third, 
in case of abortion, call immediately your veterinarian for further testing. And in the meanwhile, you have to clean and disinfect it all the parturition area and take the abortion after birth and any other discharges and destroy it. This is very, really, really very important. In order to protect you and your family from the disease, please follow very simple recommendations. When you are assisting delivery of animals or abortion, you have to wear washable clothing, arm length gloves, Google's if possible, a mask. Please do not eat, drink or smoke during the process and wash your hands thoroughly after finish them. In general, you have to maintain a good hygiene of all your body when you are working with animals. Brucellosis is a foodborne disease. Boil the milk that you use at home. Don't eat fresh milk. Ripening for three months eliminates any brucella that could be present in cheese. Diagnosis in livestock, it's very easy. Usually a few drops of blood serum are enough. If you know the status of all your animals, you can remove the infected one from your herd. Make sure that all your animals are properly vaccinated. Vaccination is very safe and the best way to protect your animals from disease and protect you and your family from molto fever. And this is a serious disease in humans. And in a general framework, in a general context, context please collaborate actively with your veterinarian, with your veterinary services in any brucellosis control or eradication program in your area. Please actively collaborate in the vaccination activities, in the testing activities and so on. Your participation, your commitment is essential to fight against the disease. As we have seen in the video, the control of brucellosis is crucial. It is crucial not only to make the livestock more safe in terms of food safety, more efficient in terms of farm management and trade potential, and also more uh, resilient in terms of uh, controlling animal diseases, but most importantly to ensure the health of uh, rural communities, especially livestock breeders and their families. Mm -hmm.